So welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again, I am back with another interesting question today. So in the figure, a square P Q R S is given. Each side of this square is equal to four units, and Q S is the diagonal of this square, and F T this line segment is such that this angle is equal to this angle. Now we are asked to find the area of the shaded region. That means this triangle shaded in blue. So first of all, area of any triangle in this world can be written as half times the length of its base multiplied with the altitude of the triangle. So in our case, we can take QT as the base and the altitude to this triangle will be rs so here we can write half times base is qt times altitude is rs the value of rs is known to us that is 4 and the value of s is not known to us so our focus will be to find the value of QT. So first of all, if we see this figure, this is a square and QS is the diagonal. So what will be the measure of QS? So we know that if we have a square whose each side is small a, then its diagonal is equal to root 2 times the side length that means root 2a. Likewise, here PQRS is a square, QS is its diagonal and each side is 4. So length of this diagonal will be 4 root 2 units. Now let us do one construction here. We will drop a perpendicular here. Let this point be A and this is perpendicular. Now let's focus on these two triangles this is the first triangle and this is the second triangle it is given that this angle is equal to this angle and angle r is 90 so here by construction we have drawn this triangle as 90 so the third angle in both the triangles will also be equal also we have this as a common side between these two triangles so we can say that by angle angle congruence triangle TAS is congruent to triangle TRS so from here by CPCT that means congruent parts of congruent triangles are equal so we will get AS is equal to RS so AS length is equal to RS. So RS is already given to us. So it will be 4 units. So from here we can see that this distance is equal to 4 units. Now let us focus on this triangle QAT. Let me draw it outside. So it will look like this. This is the perpendicular. This is point T, Q. And A. So what will be the measure of QA? So QA will be equal to the length of this diagonal QS minus the length of AS. So we can write it as QS minus AS. So QS is 4 root 2 minus AS we found as 4. So this is the measure of side QA. Now QS is the diagonal and QA is part of this diagonal and it is the diagonal of square. So this angle Q here will be 45 degrees. This is the property of a square. So if this angle is 90 degree, we have drawn it by construction. Angle Q is 45 degree. So this angle will also be 45 degrees. Now since these two angles are equal, so this side will also be equal to this side. So this side will also be 4 root 2 minus 4. And we are interested in finding the value of QT. 
Now this triangle QAT is an isosceles right triangle and QT is its hypotenuse. So we know that if we have an isosceles right triangle, that means this is 90 degree, this side is equal to this side, let them be A units. So the hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle is equal to A root 2. So QT will be equal to this side length multiplied with root 2. So we can write here QT is equal to 4 root 2 minus 4 times root 2. So if we multiply root 2 here, so 4 root 2 times root 2 will be 4 times 2 that is 8 minus 4 times root 2. So this is 4 root 2. So now we have successfully found the value of QT. We can substitute it here and get the area of the shaded region. So let me clear this. So now the area will be half times QT we just found 8 minus 4 root 2 times RS which is 4. So we will cancel it by 2. So this will be 2 times 8 that means 16 minus 2 times 4 root 2 is 8 root 2. So the area of this shaded triangle will be 16 minus 8 root 2 square units. We can express this in decimals also. So this will be 16 minus 8 times root 2 is 1.414. So this will be equal to 16 minus 11.312 which will be equal to 4.688 square units. So the area of this shaded region QTS will be 4.7 approximately 4.7 square units. If you want to get more such interesting videos, do subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.